thing about compost, once you start, you can always use more. You know? <laughs> there's no limit to what you can have, you know, because there's no doubt about it, you know, yield is directly proportional to how much of this you put on, you know, we can mm. see that in the greenhouses and tunnels. In the field, we can't afford the extravagance of putting on, as we do in the tunnels, we're putting on probably, you know, 200 metres a, a hectare or more, it's, you know, it's a lot of material. And the sustainability of that is questionable, mm. you know. You know, should you really be bringing that much into your farm from somewhere else? Because it's somebody mm. else's fertility, after all. In this case, it's from gardens, so it's not as if it's affecting the National uh, Fertility Bank or anything. But, you know, if you start bringing in huge amounts of material from outside, you, you need to question where, that, where that's coming from. So we're kind of working on quite modest amounts. I mean, 75 cubic metres per hectare is, is this much. And that's twice in seven years that goes on. It's a very small amount, but that makes a huge difference to the cropping in terms of the, you know, the soil quality, uh, the soil profile, the earthworm content. Um, it really does make a, a vast difference. So a, a little bit used in the right way is very useful. If I was to spread this onto a bare soil and plow it in that deep, I might as well not bother. I've lost every possible element of that material gone. It's pushed into cold, wet, damp conditions, anaerobic, and all the nutrient is dead, the fungi would die. And that's not the way to use organic materials. Organic materials go on the surface, let worms and the bacteria do the rest. There's no need to turn it in. We would never want to turn this stuff in, apart from in tunnels, which is a completely artificial environment anyway. So outdoors, it only goes on to green manure crop. It only goes on to a point in the rotation where, you know, green manure can take the fertility up and improve the soil through that way, rather than relying on plowing in working in huge amounts of organic material, most of which gets wasted. You know, there's a, you know, there's a fine line between looking after your fertility and squandering your fertility. I mean, a lot of fertility on farms is squandered. They have to bring in from outside because they've lost what they've got. For us, we keep the fertility in through rotation, through green manures, through ground cover crops. That's more important than trying to put lots of fertility back when you've lost it. So it's really, the essence is really to keep it in and not to lose it in the first place, rather than try and crop up you know, what's, what's often a very leaky system. I mean, so many farms are leaky nutrients, not just conventional. I mean, organic farms are really bad at this, actually. You see them spreading mm. muck in the winter, even. You know, I mean, this goes on, you know. I went to a farm not long ago, middle of January, it's pouring rain, they're spreading muck, you know. And it's an organic farm, you know. It's, it's actually not allowed, but it still happens. So, you know, looking after the tears is really important um, in terms of soil management.